I really wanted to make sure we hammer home how gross some of this stuff is. So actually, we brought kind of an example of some of the things that are being taught and why this Florida bill is even necessary. Because I'm sure there's lots of people that wouldn't even be aware um, of some of the things that are slipping into education. And so we have a clip we're going to play for you in a moment, but let me set it up first. So there's this leftist group. I don't remember what state they're in. Was it Kentucky? Kentucky? Yeah, Kentucky. Kentucky. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, in the Appalachia area. They teach um, sex ed. They call it sexy sex ed. Um, they, they have a website with a summer camp for teaching children about um, sexual topics. And um, it's it's literally from... Spe- it's It says... This is this education is for teens and children of all ages. Wow. So, so everybody. And uh, then in this clip, um, one of the instructors makes it ex- explicit that they they are also talking about children that are just learning how to speak. And um, here's here's one of the things that they're kind of pushing on kids that I think a lot of parents, left, right, and center, would find pretty offensive and pretty gross. Uh, let's play that clip right now. Masturbation is really healthy, and I recommend it to people of all ages. All ages as soon as my nephews could talk they were doing that that's what they were doing so yeah she (laughs) that is vile her her nephews she's teaching her family members who have just learned how to talk how to masturbate her and that's we don't want that in schools yeah (laughs) i just like don't know i don't even know what to say because i just feel like like the world's so upside down and backwards it, it just blows my mind that you would be e- even able to think that. Yeah. Like, that kind of person right there is like the people, or like the kind of person that I was sat down and told at six, if someone says anything like that to you or says anything yeah. kind of bad, <laughs> run. Run. Yeah. Really yeah. run. Like gouge their eyes out. Like run away. And I pulled up the curriculum for Sexy Sex Ed Virtual Sexy Summer Camp, the one of the programs that this woman helps run. Um, here are some of the things that they go over with children of all ages. Sex with me, self-pleasure, um, reproductive health, the basics, gender diversity, um, policing of blackness somehow snuck in there. Like that has a lot to do with sex ed. <laughs> Sexy trans sex ed is one of the one of the weeks is called that. Self managed abortion info share. Um, sex on drugs. Uh, contraceptive options. Sex after body trauma. It, you know, some of them like are more reasonable than others, but all of them probably shouldn't be taught to kids of a certain age yeah. that aren't able to understand whatsoever. Yeah. Um, and the other part of this is, is you know, okay, so you, you know, this that movement, like you said, it used to be much more of like a libertarian, like do what you want movement mm-hmm. and I'll do what I want. And now they're forcing it on everyone. Mm-hmm. You have schools that are told, okay, if a child comes out as trans, you are not allowed to inform the parents. Which is um, just, Yeah. yeah. It's it's absurd. And yeah. well, when it comes down to it, I mean, like we've just opened Pandora's box. Yes. Um with all of these issues. Um and it it uh, with it all being so tied to identity, mm. um you are just actively in the business then of tearing down individuals' identity and societal identity. Yeah. And it's just this is what they're going after. And you see you see this happen in a lot of cultures right before they completely collapse in yeah. history is that kind of the sexual boundaries just kind of get erased like this happened yeah. in Rome shortly before yeah, the fall happened, of Rome. This happened in Greece, this happened in Rome, this happened yeah. in Sparta. I mean, we could Greece, literally right. go down the yeah. list. It's like as soon as you open the sexual boundaries and just sexualize your culture to this right. degree. <laughs> the, watch out. And the <laughs> other the, kind of the other side of this that I we're just so against kids being exposed to this is just purely the transgender gender identity mm-hmm. idea. Because um, what happens is um, what you know people like Deborah So, a uh, sex neurologist, have, have coined um, as early onset gender dysphoria, where you, know, you have kids that are just kind of growing into their bodies. They're a little confused. They don't quite fit in. Um, and then you tell them, well, that's because you're the wrong, you were born with the wrong genitals. So yeah. obviously you just need to transition. You need to do things that will permanently yeah. alter your um, your biological chemistry and that will make you feel whole again. And what we're seeing is because, you know, typically when it comes to um, uh, growing up as a kid, um, you can feel like more of an outsider and you guys can speak to this better than <laughs> I can um, when you're a girl versus a guy. And so actually early on, onset gender dysphoria tends to happen a lot more with young girls than it does with young boys. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah because developmentally as a little girl, yeah. you're basically almost the same as a little boy for like the first three years of life. It's yeah. like, yeah. Um, like physically you don't yeah. mature. Mm-hmm. Um, and so 
then yeah. people come after. Yeah, then, yeah. then it changes, and, then, and people you know, come after your identity change, and your sex. You feel like you know, just uh, things are things are awkward. I don't quite feel like myself, and then it's like, well, it's because you're the wrong gender. Yeah. Well, it's just funny too because I think back to when I was growing up because I'm twin, and when I was little, I used to be the more kind of like tomboyish one, like right. didn't want to do whatever. Mm -hmm. And my sister was way more girly, and then we just kind of flipped a little bit, and she's yeah. a little bit more whatever tomboyish <laughs> now, and I'm definitely more girly. And it's like I can't imagine if if back then uh because i didn't fit what my sister was right. doing at the same age as her as her twin that my parents were like oh that means that you have gender dysphoria because yeah. you're playing with trucks in your sandbox rather than a barbie doll <laughs> literally you know? you're you're the the tomboy is just it's not going to exist yeah anymore. it's not going to exist they and just tell them that oh no you're just a boy no 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 yeah. you're just, you're a, just a boy. I know. <laughs> like and, and for people who claim to hate gender stereotypes so much they're the ones <laughs> enforcing them like they're the rule of law that's no, perfect no conservatives yeah. care about it